We looked at it briefly yesterday. There's three ways to write the equation of a linear line. We went over the first one yesterday. What was it? Y is equal to MX plus B. Okay. There's another way. There's another formula. That's slope intercept form. Right? This is slope intercept because it tells you the slope and the y intercept. Right? M and B. There's point slope. Yep, that's what I'm <laughs> Point slope is this. And this one, this formula right here, just comes from the uh, formula for slope. Because if you divide off, you don't need to write this, but if you divide off x minus x1, you get the formula for slope. That's how they get that. All right. So, and there's one more that you look at in grade 10, but you don't really... It's kind of just an annoyance in grade 10. The book will write almost every answer in this form. General form. Does anybody remember what general form is? That's general form. Okay. Uh, the thing about general form or standard form, whatever you want to call it, is A has to be positive and A, B, and C are whole numbers. No fractions. Oh, it's hurting an angle. Oh, well. All right. So uh, ge general form is kind of annoying because it does. it's hard to see any relevant information for graphing it, but... Uh, we're going to do a bit of practice writing it like that. So, and we're going to figure out practice figuring out the equation of line given some information. So this will be like a review of math 10, which I know was a long time ago. So that's why we're going to go over it. Because a lot of what we do in this class is linear lines. Y is equal to MX plus P. Okay. So. Find the equation. of the line with a slope of three and passes through the point uh, one negative two. What do we do? Well, which formula do you want to use? You have a choice of three. I would recommend one of those two. Points. The first one, slope y-intercept. We can do that. I'm going to show you how to do it with both. So. We can do y is equal to mx plus b form. Okay. Do we know m? Do we know the slope? It's 3. And we have a point, which is x and y. So if we sub all that into the, into the equation, we should be able to figure out b. So if we go negative 2 is equal to 3 times 1 plus b, you're going to get b is equal to... Negative five, right? Therefore, 
the equation of line is y is equal to m 3x minus 5. There you go. Now, I'll show you how to do it with point slope form as well. I don't care how you do it, but it's nice to know how to do it all, all the ways. So point slope, if we're going to do that, the formula is, uh, sorry, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. Okay, m is m, m is the slope. The y1 and the x1 are your point, is your point, okay? So we go y minus the y value, which is negative 2, so that'll flip the sign to positive 2. m is 3, and it's x minus the x value, which is 1. Now we're going to rearrange it, get rid of the brackets, okay? So I'm going to dump the 3 in. just so we can see that we get the same equation. Move the two over. Y is equal to three X minus five. So we get the same thing. All right, the book will say, write it in standard form. So standard or general form is this. So I need to get everything to one side, make it equal to zero and your a value has to be positive. So what do you want to move? The x's or the y? Move the y, right? Because the x is already positive here. So if you're going to write this in standard form, I'd move the y over, and you're going to get 0 is equal to 3x minus y minus 5. That's standard form. All those three are the exact same. I don't care how you do it. It's your choice, OK? We okay? All right. Um, okay. We'll do one more. I'll give you a couple, and then we'll move on to actual limits. So, B. What are we doing? Find the equation. Determine what is going on here. Passes through the point two negative one. and is perpendicular to the line 2x minus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. OK. So what jumps out at you as being different here? Sorry? There's general form and, well, I don't know if, it, if that, we have this word perpendicular. Perpendicular lines, what does perpendicular mean? Yeah, they intersect at a right angle, right? So perpendicular means that the lines intersect at a right angle. So if you have a line like this and a line like this, where they meet is at 90 degrees, OK? And if this first line has a slope of, this is like an aside, this is not this actual one, has a slope of 2, what's the slope of the perpendicular line? Sorry? Not negative 2. You're close. It's negative 1 over 2. It's the negative reciprocal, OK? So perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, okay? 
So, first thing I gotta do is figure out what the slope of this line is, because standard form doesn't tell us anything. So if you want to know the slope, write it in y is equal to mx plus b form. So I'm going to move the 3y over and get 2x, uh, 2x minus 5 is equal to 3y. And then I'm going to divide off the 3. And I end up with y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5 thirds. This line is the line we need to pull our slope from because we're perpendicular to this one. Okay? So what's the slope of the blue line here, the blue writing? Two thirds. Two thirds, right? This is the slope of this line. So if our line that we're talking about is perpendicular to it, M perpendicular, that's my little symbol for perpendicular. Okay, right angle. What is the M perpendicular slope? Negative three over two. So that's the, what is going on? You flip it and put a negative in front. Okay, and you can see the negative comes because if this is a positive slope, it has to be positive. All right, so M perpendicular is negative three over two. Now we have the slope of our line and we have the point it goes through. We can figure out the equation. Do you want to use mx plus b or do you want to use point slope? y minus y1 equals mx plus. Does anybody care? Okay, mx plus b. You spoke up, so you get it. mx plus b. We know the slope is negative 3 over 2. We know our x value is 2. I don't know b, and our y value is negative 1. This works out nicely. Because if I multiply negative 3 over 2 times 2, I get negative 3. Move it over. Uh, so b is equal to 2. Yes? All right. So the equation of the line is y is equal to negative 3 over 2 x plus 2. Okay. Oh, the book's going to want it in standard form. How do I convert that to standard form? Okay, so we're going to move the x over because we don't want the x negative, right? Is there, yes? So I move the x and the 2. So I get 3 over 2 x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Is that allowed? The way that's written? Why not? Yeah, you can't have fractions. So, how do you clear a fraction? You multiply through by the denominator. So if you multiply the whole equation times 2, both sides, I'm going to get 3x plus 2y minus 4, 0 times 2 is 0. And that's the equation in standard form. Everything. Uh, okay, is that okay? A lot of what we're going to do when we get to derivatives, which is the second unit, is generating equations of a line. Okay. Um, I'll just give you a couple questions. Page 16. <laughs>
21. I'm going to be better with the questions here. Just going to do that. Let's just do 21 and 53. No. 39. 21 and 39. Two questions. That's it. And then we'll start uh, limits. Limits. 